This evening, it's a nice wet rainy day, but we're going to make the best of it inside and learn a little bit about getting active to prevent um, type 2 diabetes. Our speaker tonight is Miss Akira Baker, and Akira will let you go ahead and get started. Okay, so hello everyone. Like I just said, my name is Akira Baker, and I am one of the APC fellows, and today we're going to talk about getting active to prevent type 2 diabetes. So the session focus today it's going to focus on physical activity can help you prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. And this module introduces the concept of actually getting active. So today is not a real good day to get out and get active, but there are multiple things we can do in the house to get up, and get moving, and to get active. So by the end of this session, some objectives we will have covered are identifying some benefits of getting active and identify some ways to get active. Before we get started, is there anything or any questions about last week's uh, session or does anyone have any questions about the session from last week or any questions about the action plans or things that were set up or put in place to help you get started? Well, OK, so let's talk about some things that um, went well or some things that you tried at home last week, whether it's different diet or setting up a schedule or just kind of meal prepping. All right. So getting active, like I said, can help prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. So we'll get a chance to move around a little bit or we'll discuss some things that we can do to move around. And then uh, we can go into actually discussing different things we can put into an action plan to help us out. So let's start by talking about getting active and some things that can lower your risk for type 2 diabetes. One way it does this is by helping you lose weight. The more active you are, the more calories you burn. So can anybody tell me what are calories? All right. Well, calories are the measure of energy. You get your calories from your food and your drinks. Um, benefits of getting active. Getting active can lower your risk for type 2 diabetes. It lowers your blood sugar. It does this by making your cells better able to use the insulin to, um, to take up the blood sugar. And also some different benefits of getting active. So benefits are you get better sleep, you have better mood, it improves your balance and flexibility, it lowers your blood pressure and cholesterol, it lowers your risk for heart attack and stroke, it lowers your overall stress level, it gives you more energy, and you, it builds stronger muscles. So we talked about how getting active can lower your risk for type 2 diabetes. What are some other benefits from getting active? Or what are some things you do to get active? LaFaisa, what you do to get active? Because you're very active. Sometimes I exercise, go to the gym, just stay active, bike ride, little things like that, walk my dog. Okay, what about Myla? I heard Myla say she lost a lot of weight. So what are some things you do to get active? As far as like getting out and getting active, mm -hmm. I set I set a certain time during, you know, each day to go to the gym or a few times a week, just kind of whatever fits my schedule. But mm -hmm. I'll go to the gym for say 30, 60 minutes, something like that, and just make myself go. Okay. Because, yeah, because we run a very busy schedule, and if you don't actually make yourself participate, then it kind of falls to the bottom of the list. So, as you all know, we're working toward at least 50 minutes of activity each week. So, that's the recommended goal to get out and to get at least 50, 150 minutes per week. And it may take you a while to reach that goal, but if you break it up into small sessions, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, kind of try to get your at least 30 minutes in a day, then those small changes over time can get you to that 150 minutes. We're going to go over some different ways to get active. All right, and we can go to his story. Okay, so T.O.'s story, he was at risk for type 2 diabetes. His doctor had urged him to lose 20 pounds, and he worked up to at least 150 minutes of activity per week. He and his wife have five children. The kids play sports, and he, he spends a lot of time driving to these events back and forth. 
He works a full-time job, and on the weekends, he works a second part-time job. When he has some free time, he likes to watch basketball on TV, but he rarely plays it. He spends a lot of time just sitting around like I do. So he found some ways to get active. And some things that he done was he walked on the sidelines during his children's sports activities. He also walked with friends during his lunch break each day. He plays basketball with his kids instead of watching it on TV. And he takes the stairs instead of using the elevator. Over time, he gets more active. These days, he's active at least 150 times a week. At his height, he, at, for his height, he's losing the weight and he's going down. And his blood sugars are lower. He sleeps better than ever, and plus he has more energy to participate with his kids and, a deal, and to do his day-to-day -day activities. And some of the things that he actually participated in or he actually done are some things that we can actually do. Because I know I work when I'm in the hospital, I work up on the third floor and I walk right past those stairs every single day. And I could I could definitely go up and down the stairs instead of taking the elevator and just parking farthest away from Walmart when I go and just taking that longer walk to the door. And my kids, like he is actually participating in sports year round. And so walking on the sidelines is also another good way to actually um, get those steps in for today. Okay, so some different ways to get active. There are so many great things that we could do to get active. And you're sure to find at least one you like. And the goal of this program is to find activity that's a moderate pace. So you want to get that heart rate up. Today is not really a good day to get out and get active. But of course, you can do some things in the home. And some different uh, ways to get active or more ways to get active is actually, you could actually um, go biking, stair climbing, dancing, um, working out in the yard, hiking, jogging, jump roping, weight lifting. Oh, my kids play soccer. Lord knows I couldn't run up and down that field, but I can try. Stretching, swimming. Re resistance bands would be a good one to do in the house today and actually a brisk walk. Also, keep in mind what we discussed today is just about getting up and getting active. So as you make your action plan, remember, we want to keep it realistic. We want to keep it doable. We want to keep it specific and flexible because I want you to remember that to um, focus on your behaviors and just have fun. So just implementing little things throughout your day. Like I said, 10 minutes here um, while you're at work, if you sit at a desk, marching in place. Um, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking furthest away from the door when you go grocery shopping or go to any events, and just making sure you're getting your timing. And like Miley said, you just want to make sure that you carve this time out throughout your week and just stick to it.